looking at this report exactly. as released by INEC, one of the key portions there has to or have to do with uh, IREV, how INEC has also spoken about uh, the failures uh, of, I, of uh, the IREV portal to um, convey results from polling units, so to speak, now to this, uh, this central portal, uh, which led to the disappointment of many Nigerians. Uh, the Supreme Court, as you must have been following uh, during the period of the presidential uh, tribunal stage, also had a thing or two to say about how that also rubbed off somewhat on the integrity of the process. But INEC is saying that uh, there were complexities with this IRF portal which weren't anticipated and couldn't be mitigated. What do you make of that? Uh, thank you very much once again for having me back in the studio and uh, good morning our viewers. Uh, you see, um, it's no good for one to make promises and then not fulfill them. So it's better not to make promises where you know that the action you are going to take have some interdependencies. What I mean that there are other things that, uh, other factors that will uh, uh, largely determine whether you can fulfill the promise or not. Because what INEC did was that they went around uh, saying that they are prepared, they are going to do, I mean, they are going to transmit uh, the result uh, real time from the polling units to the INEC server and um, it will be able to be viewed. Uh, not minding that uh, they are not entirely in control of the process. The technical aspect of it, it is something that you or, and I and INEC do not have um, absolute control over. There are other factors also. Even if the technology worked very well, uh, the issue of, for example, uh, attacks, you know, uh, cyber attack, the issues of uh, power out uh, outage, uh, I mean, even if the beavers uh, have batteries, the battery can run down, and so many other things. The beavers can also freeze, and um, like they said, the main issue, according to the report, was that, um, uh, I mean, the, v the server or the was all the technology could not recognize because the way, I mean, you could not recognize a presidential election as, I mean, having one single constituency. Because in presidential election, the whole of Nigeria is a single constituency. Unlike um, in other elections, whether you have, or, I mean, where you have... Uh, uh, as, as so many things and so, and so on, you know. So, so that was, I think, the reason advanced by Anik why the 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 gadgets or whatsoever could not recognize. I mean, I mean, I could not allow the upload of the of the result. But fundamentally, that have affected. I mean, disappointed uh, many Nigerians. But uh, I, I I I understand the point of Anik um, that. Um, the, what, what really happened was not uh, to manipulate the election result. And in any case, the result of 2023 election would have been hard to manipulate, honestly. It would not be easy to, uh, it wouldn't have been easy to manip manipulate it. One, it was clearly contested, and uh, I was in the field. Uh, the voters and party supporters were all there, you know, monitoring what was going on from polling units to the coalition centers and so on. So despite what really happened, of course, the glitches, I think um, the election was free and fair. But there's a mistake, I think, now that it's going to be, uh, it's about to be made. I understand that, um, I mean, there is some, um, some amendment to the Electoral Act that is uh, going on now at the National Assembly to make uh, a transmission of, uh, electronic transmission of result mandatory. I think uh, based on what we have discussed, um, the aspect of, uh, I mean, other factors, I think it would be a mistake for us to do that because even if INEC still assures, uh, I mean, Nigerian that, uh, yes, they are ready, they did that before, but unfortunately they could not test uh, their, 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 their software, their, their gadget, the technology, to make sure that, yes, it can handle that large volume of data and it can handle, I mean, it can even recognize the peculiarity of the, of the presidential election. Even if this, so they have said it before, and even if they said it now, there's every possibility that 
um, during the 2027 election, uh, that problem can occur for something entirely different which we might not even envisage now. So to make, um, I mean, transmission of results mandatory, it means that if the results are not transmitted, uh, I mean, electronically, it means that uh, probably that the election will, will not be valid. And that will create constitutional crisis. If it is mandatory to transmit the election results, I mean, electronically via uh, beavers, and, it, and it's not done, what, what, what is it going to happen? Is INEC going to go ahead, as it did, to, to, to declare a winner, especially with the presidential election? If uh, we know what is happening now in the consular crisis now in Senegal, because the president there shifted the date of the, of the election, how are we going to handle that? Because that may require shifting the, ele uh, I mean the election uh, to, to another date. And then uh, probably before election can be conducted because of the cost and the other logistics agreement, uh, logistics uh, arrangement, uh, that may even uh, be after the tenure of the sitting president, whosoever might be the president. So um, uh, that, 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 that I think the National right. Assembly should have a rethink that that right. would not be a good option for us. They should uh, leave some discretion to INEC. Otherwise, there could be constitutional crisis in Nigeria.